and the way in which the county um, operates, you'll be interested to know that in the county it's required, county board approval is required before a request for, for proposals or qualifications or whatever goes out, a, a bid goes out. Then the, the respondents have to be approved by county board action. Then the invoices that they sent have to be approved. And then the payments have to be approved. It's like four or five steps, you know, in order to get somebody paid for work that they've done. It's, um, it, it's cumbersome and it's um, time consuming. And it, I, I was at an event the other day and somebody was saying that they don't bother to, to uh, bid on work in the county anymore because it just takes forever. 10% pay cut when I come into office. We're, we're entering very difficult economic times. The chief financial officer has said that we're uh, $300 million down. Uh, and I think, frankly, that's a lowball estimate because uh, it was admitted that it didn't include cost of living increases for employees, debt increases, or any back pay for employees for contracts that ran out in September of, I'm sorry, September of 2008, and it's now September of 2010. We still haven't settled with our unions, and when we do settle, we're going to hold people back pay. So my estimate is that it's closer maybe to 450. It's a, a tremendous challenge and a great um, opportunity, I guess, uh, for our health care system. In the past, most of the people who came to either our clinics or our hospitals uh, came there as a last resort. They came because they didn't have insurance or they were underinsured and they, could, they knew they could get free or low-cost care uh, from our public health care system. In, in 2014, many people, if not most people in this country, will have insurance one way or the other. And the question is whether people who presently use our health care system will use it in that environment. The, the public system has a real challenge, not only to improve the quality of service, which definitely they have to do, and how people get treated. And all of you have heard the terrible stories about people waiting 12, 15 hours in the emergency room to be treated. Not only they have to work on the quality of service, but they got to work on their marketing. 